Welcome to Mendeley video course. You're watching video number six, creating a Mendeley library, adding a reference manually. In this video, we will demonstrate how to enter a reference manually into a Mendeley library. Manual entry can be done for all types of bibliography, journal article, book, report, web page, blog, etc. However, for journal articles, there are more efficient and simpler ways available. Whereas manual entry is usually the only option to add reports or guidelines or any such documents to your library. Assume we want to add the WHO Global TB Report 2015 as a reference to Mendeley Desktop. How do we do this? Open Mendeley Desktop on the left top corner. Click on Add Entry Manually. This can also be accessed from File, Add Entry Manually. You'll get a new window which can be resized based on your requirement. Now here, there are several fields. The first field is the type of the bibliographic document. It could be a journal article, it could be a book. In this case, we are now going to choose a report. Then we type the title, Global Tuberculosis Report. Authors, in this case the author is World Health Organization. Now if I don't do anything and just type the whole name of the author, and press enter key then what happens is it considers the last name as organization and world and health as the first names of the author just see what happens you see here organization comma world health it converts itself in that format but that's not what we want we want it properly cited as World Health Organization. So how do we achieve that? For that, I'm going to choose this and then I'm going to say this is an institution or organization. Click on that. Once you do that, then it remains as it is. It doesn't change in the normal format of last name comma first name. So this is one of the important tips you should remember. Otherwise, <clears throat> whatever you type, it gets reorganized automatically. Let me go to year 2015 pages. You can say whatever the number of pages. City. I'm going to say Geneva, comma, Switzerland. Date accessed. When did we access this report? I'm just going to put a date, 11, 11, 2017. Then institution, I can repeat as the World Health Organization or WHO. I can add the URL from where this document was accessed. Let me search for that. Copy this and paste here. Then say, I can also add a file. I can browse
and then save. So now you can see that we have manually added a reference which is global TB report and I can already see all the bibliographic details here. If I want to see how it will appear when we cite it, I can go to view and instead of library as a table, I can click on library as citations and then I'll immediately see how it will appear when we are going to cite this. I can click on this PDF. It will open itself in the Mendeley PDF viewer and I can read the document right from here. Not only read, I can also, if I want highlight certain things, I can do that. Or if I want to add a note, I can add my note, do what I want. You can use different colors if you want to highlight and add notes. So this is available from right here. Another tip uh, while you are adding references manually, for example, here we have a reference for Global TB Report 2015. Now, if I want a reference for Global TB Report 2016, it's almost similar, right? So, if I can copy this and edit it, that will be more efficient. How do we do that? Select the reference, edit, not a simple copy, but copy as a bibtex entry, edit, paste. Now, what has happened? A copy of this has been made. All I have to now do is go here instead of 2015 becomes 2016. And maybe there are changes in the page numbers. You may have to do that. Delete whatever is not necessary. URL may have to be changed and you can add a file. But the reference is ready to be cited. So this is a very useful option. When there are similar kinds of references, you can easily copy it as a bibtex entry, paste it and quickly edit it. The other feature I wanted to show you was whenever you are trying to add a reference manually, for example, let's say web page, there are a given number of fields as part of this web page. Now city, date accessed, URL, these are all by default. Let us say you want to add another field called country, not only city but also country. How do you do that? The way to do it is go to tools, options and there are several tabs here. If you look at this, the first one is general where you can look at your web space, and all of that. Document details. Now here, for each type of document, what are all the fields which are there is being highlighted. So for example, if I choose web page, now these are the fields which will come as part of the web page document. Now here, some are by default. You can't do anything about it but some can be added. So I want to add country. Apply. Say OK. Now when I try to add an entry manually for the web page, you will see that in, in addition to city, the country field is also available. So this can be done not only for web page for but for any type of article. Is that okay? To summarize, in this video we learned how to add a reference manually, which is very important for adding reports, web pages, guidelines, etc. Please note how we entered the author name in this case, and especially when it's the name of an institution. In the next video, we will show you how to add a PDF file into a Mendeley library. Thanks for watching.